Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Reynolds with Bored Better Off Reading Every Day. Today's book is The Great Googly Moogly and this is by Courtney Dickmas. The Great Googly Moogly. Stella was a small girl who dreamt of catching a big fish, but not just any fish would do. The great Googly Moogly was the biggest fish of them all. It had terrible jaws and horrible yellow eyes and the size of dinner plates. For 200 years, no one had been able to reel it in. It had terrible jaws, a horrible yellow eyes, the size of dinner plates. This didn't stop Stella. Every day she went down to the dock to catch the googly moogly and every day was the same. The wind rolled, the waves lapped, but no fish would bite. not even a nibble. At dinner each day, it seemed Stella caught everything except what she was looking for. In her dreams, she wished for the googly moogly. It was hers to catch. Stella just wouldn't give up. She tried fly fishing. She bought a new bait. She was patient through the rain, but still there was no googly moogly in sight. So like, so like any expert, she had lunch and took a short nap. Stella awoke to the soft kerplunk of water on her head. Great googly moogly, ah, ee! Wait, where are your yellow eyes, slurp? Where are your terrible jaws? Suddenly, the great googly moogly took a great moogly nap. Suddenly, the great googly moogly took a great googly leap. Down they plunge, scattering seaweed and stirring up starfish up into the light where things look different to Stella somehow. She had done it, caught it at last. Well, sort of, but was the googly moogly hers to keep? Stella wasn't sure. In her heart, she knew what she had to do. That night, Stella was quiet. She missed the googly moogly. She dreamt of the great googly moogly swimming in the wide open sea. Tomorrow, she would go down to the water and enjoy the sunshine. Perhaps the googly moogly would be there. And it was. From that day on, Stella was happy not to catch another fish.
the end, boys and girls, of the great Googly Moogly. The part of this story I liked is that she finally caught him. That's all she had wanted to do was crate catch this great Googly Moogly. And what happened? She took a nap. She got tired of waiting, so she took a nap. But she was still there, and there was no googly moogly. So like any expert, she had lunch and took a nap. And that's when it happened, when she least expected it. Stella awoke to the soft kerplunch of water on her head. Great googly moogly, ah, she screamed. Wait, where are your yellow eyes? Where are your terrible jaws? Suddenly the great googly moogly took a great moogly leap. With her on his back. Down they plunged, scattering weed and stirring up starfish up, to the, up into the light where things looked different to Stella somehow. Look how happy she is. She had done it. She had caught it at last. Well, sort of. But was Googly Moogly hers to keep? Stella wasn't sure. This is my favorite part. In her heart, she knew what she had to do. She knew what she had to do. So, boys and girls, I chose this book because sometimes there's something that you wish for, that you want really, really badly. And when you're thinking of giving up, all of a sudden, it appears. She was think of, thinking of giving up when she went and took that nap, and the great googly moogly appeared. And then she had finally gotten what she wanted, but then could she keep him? Could you keep a big fish like that? No, she knew exactly what she had to do. She had to set him free. So sometimes when you love something, you have to set it free. I know, it's hard. It's hard, boys and girls. You love something, but you have to set it free. You can't hold on to it forever. And with that in mind, I'm thinking of my daughter, my girl. I love her. She's the best thing that ever happened to me. But I had to set her free. I had to let her go off to college in the big sea of people and find her own way. That's why I read that book to her um, when I dropped her off at college in the sea because she's gonna be out there in the big sea with a sea of people trying to find her way. And this reminds me of her as well. You love something, but then you have to set it free so that it can be, and that's what I did with her. So one day, boys and girls, somebody's gonna to have to set you free. You have a while yet, but one day. And you'll find something that you have to set free too. We all do, something. We love, we have to set it free. So it's Miss Reynolds with Board, Better Off Reading Every Day, and it has been my pleasure to read this book to you. Love you boys and girls, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye. Love you, my girls.